Hey everybody, welcome to Franny Square. Today I'm going to be going over nine Ellen Villa styles in different colors. Okay, so before we get started, I just want to give you a little bit of an update about what's happening with my website and with the channel. I'm going to be doing more in-depth reviews of a lot of the wigs that I've purchased. Today I'm going to be doing Ellen Villa, I'll be doing some Aesthetica, some Tressalore, so stay tuned for those. This weekend on my website you can get 30% off of brand name wigs, so head over there, franniesHair.com to check that out. Also, check out the one-of-a-kind wigs, and if you didn't see that video, I'll put a link here. There's still a few of those left. And once I do full reviews on wigs, many times I will put those wigs up for sale in my open box review section, and you get them at a discount. In most cases, those wigs were only used for the review. They were combed through. Sometimes there was some product sprayed on them, but they are new wigs. And since I've already combed through them and styled them a little bit, I put them up at a discount. So check out that section of my website. All right, this first wig is Stella. And if you remember when I tried on the wigs with my friends, Lisa put this on and said she felt like a sex kitten in it. And it is sexy and flirty. I love this style. It has these loose curls and waves, that beachy wave kind of style. I'm going to spin for you and then I'll tell you all about it. She's in the color Bernstein Multi Shaded. And I liked this color so much that I said to my rep, what other wigs come in this color? Because I want to get more wigs in this color. Really pretty, right? The Bernstein Light Multi Shaded is described as the lightest brown blended with light honey and light golden blonde with shaded roots. And you can see it's definitely on the warmer side. Um, and you know, I do like warm colored wigs. Just a beautifully done, beautifully highlighted color. And you do have the deeper shaded roots there that you can see. Stella is heat friendly. Let me give you her measurements. She is eight inches in the front. And I have, uh, from my forehead to my chin, I'm eight and a half inches. So eight inches in the front, 10 inches in the crown, seven inches on the side. And thank you to everybody who wrote to me. I said, I can't figure out how to measure these sides. They never seem right to me. And people said it's from the ear tab, which is right here. So seven inches on the side, four inches at the nape, and I'll show you the lace front, extended lace front, and I will show you the cap also. Her lace fronts are always done beautifully, and she has a mono part. Hopefully you can see that there. She weighs 3.3 ounces, very light and very comfortable. She's a petite average. And in Ellen Villa, petite average will fit most people. And if you don't know how to measure your head, head over to my website, franniesHair.com. There's a blog there that tells you how to measure your head and how to find the correct size for you. I don't know if I said that she's heat friendly, but she is heat friendly. She's from the Modix or Modix collection, which is a collection of synthetic heat friendly wigs. And you can use heat tools up to 260 degrees on her. Okay, so now to try on the glasses under the ear tabs. Okay, under the ear tabs definitely feel snug to me. I think over time, I would definitely feel the pressure of that. Let's try over the ear tabs. Over the ear tabs, no problem, not on an angle. I would definitely go over the ear tabs with this wig. All right, let's take her outside and take a look at the color. Okay, so here you can see the color really beautiful golden honey tones the roots look at those curls okay so let's take a look at her cap okay so you can see here she has the extended from ear tab to ear tab lace front the mono part 
which has a decent amount of width there, so you could part anywhere along here. Looks like she may have some permatease in here. Open wefting, the nice velvety ear tabs with the metal ear stays, and extended nape and Velcro adjusters. And Ellen Villa does beautiful caps, really nice. Okay, that's Stella. This next beauty is called Drive. She's from the Perucci collection. And Perucci is described as fashion forward, synthetic and heat friendly synthetic styles and colors. This is the color Bernstein rooted. And if you want a little lesson on Ellen Villa's color philosophy, again, head over to my website blog. There's something on that, a few videos and it'll describe her color philosophy and how even though two wigs could be named with the same color, the color looks a little bit different. And so the blog will explain how that works. So Drive is heat friendly. She has an extended lace front and I will show you that. Beautiful as always. She has a mono part, which is a center part here. And she's heat friendly up to 260 degrees. Her front is 12 inches. The crown is 13 and a half inches. The sides are 11 inches. And the nape is seven inches. And she weighs 4.6 ounces. I'm gonna try on the glasses with her. Again, tighten the temples. I think Ellen Villa fits slightly tighter than other wigs, even though they say the petite to average will fit most sizes. No problem at all over the ear tabs. I think over the ear tabs is gonna be the way to go with Ellen Villa styles. Okay, so let me just spin for you. Here's the front and the side. I just love the feel of these fibers. It feels really nice. Back. Found myself uh, saying front side, back side again. <laughs> there we go. Really pretty. I'm going to take her outside so you can, oh, before I take her outside, let me tell you the description, how her color's described. Okay, Bernstein Rooted is the lightest brown and light golden blonde with light honey blonde blend and shaded roots. So I would say that that is accurate. And I like how the highlights are subtle in this. They're not chunky, really pretty. And you can see the rooted top there at the part. All right, let's take a look at this color outside. Okay, so you can see here the beautiful highlighting. And it, this is ashier in color than Stella. I don't know if you can tell that here, but definitely ashier. Okay, so let's take a look at her cap. Okay, so you can see here the extended from ear tab to ear tab lace front, the center part, the open wefting, velvety ear tabs, Velcro adjusters, and extended velvety nape. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Oh, I just realized, I forgot to tell you, Drive weighed 4.6 ounces. This one is Girl Mono, she's adorable. Cute curl. I have to tell you right off the bat, this cap feels tighter. I have a 21 and a half inch circumference head and she's fitting me snugly. Now Girl Mono is made in a large. So if you do have a larger head, I would suggest definitely getting the large size. Girl Mono is not heat friendly. She has a lace front. You can see there, I, I really love how they do their highlights right up to the lace. And Mono part. She's part of the hair power line. And that is described as the largest collection of synthetic and heat friendly synthetic styles. So there's a lot of styles in this collection. I'm gonna spin for you and then I'll give you the measurements. really adorable. She is 6.5 inches in the bang, 
Remember, I'm eight and a half here to here. 7.5 inches in the crown. The sides are nine inches and the nape is five inches and she weighs 3.1 ounces. Her ear tabs are right here. So you can see them there with the metal stays in them. And I'm gonna take her outside to show you the color and then I'll be back in to show you the cap. Okay, so this is the Light Bernstein Rooted in the Girl Mono. And I think if you've seen my other Light Bernstein Rooted, like in Sunset, you would say that this appears a little bit darker. Here's the shading in the part. And when we get back inside, I'm gonna to read to you the description of Light Bernstein Rooted and talk a little bit more about the color. Okay, so Light Bernstein Rooted is described as lightest brown and light golden blonde with light honey blonde blend and shaded roots. So you can see all of that. Definitely a warmer color. Now, remember there is something on color philosophy in my blog describing how Ellen Villa does her colors, but when she does her colors, these three numbers here are describing the colors that are used. And just like ingredients in foods, the one that's listed first is the one that there's the most of and so on. So the one that's listed last is the one that there's least of. And so even though the color may be called the same on two different wigs, there may be different amounts of each color. And maybe even the highlight color might be a little bit different. So that's why it appears that sometimes the colors are not consistent in Ellen Villa. Okay, so let's try on the glasses. I can already tell you this is gonna be snug under the ear tabs. Yeah, because this, this cap is snugger on me. And over the ear tabs, no problem at all. Yeah, I, th I think that's the way it's gonna be with Ellen Villa, wear your glasses over your ear tabs. Okay, let's take a look at the cap. Okay, here we go. We have the lace front, the mono part, the open wefting, the velvety ear tabs, the velvety extended nape, and the Velcro adjusters. All right, on to the next wig. Okay, this next style, Aletta, I absolutely love. This is also from the Modix collection. She is just adorable, perfect for summer. And I actually really like this gray. It's called Dark Gray Mix. I'm gonna spin for you first. I am going to definitely get her in another color for myself. Great for summer. Nice and short in the back. Not heavy at all. And I'll give you her measurements. Wow, look at that. And look at this dark gray mix, how pretty that is. Let me see what it says for dark gray mix here. Okay, so dark gray mix is described as black, dark brown, and lightest brown with pearl white and gray blend. Look at how pretty that is. Wow, I really love that. Okay, so Alette is heat friendly, and her front is 5.5 .5 inches. Seems a little bit longer than that to me. Her crown is 5.5. .5. Her sides, let me see, is that front? Oh, maybe this is the 5.5 .5 inch piece there. Yeah, that makes sense. The side are, is 5.25. The nape is 2.5 and she weighs only 2.4 ounces. So nice and light. Let's take a look at her lace front here. Beautifully done. And her part, also really nicely done. Let's try on the glasses. She does feel snugger also. It's interesting how they're different. Okay, the glasses on this one actually fit underneath the ear tab, so I don't feel that at all. And I can't really get them over the ear tabs because again, the ear tabs seem to be a little bit shorter on this one. So the ear tab ends here. Let's see if you can see that. So the glasses actually fit underneath of that. So 
doesn't affect it at all. All right, let's take a look at the color outside. Okay, so I just passed my husband in the kitchen and he told me he doesn't like me in gray yet. <laughs> Nonetheless, this is a beautiful gray. Hopefully you can see the color out here. And I believe the back is a little bit darker. Hopefully you can see that. Love this style, love it. So this is Aletta and I would probably, you know, tuck her a little bit behind one here. That would be really cute like that. So let's take a look at our cat. All right, here we go. She has the lace front here, like that, mono part. Looks like she may have a little permatease in there. The velvety ear tabs, velvety extended nape, and the Velcro adjusters. Okay, next is Ray's, and she's from the Changes Collection, which is described as trendy synthetic and heat-friendly synthetic models. So for, for those of you looking for some shorter hair, this is a really cute style. She has like a wispy bang here that you could wear it more as a bang or you could sweep it off your forehead like that. I'm gonna spin around. She's in the color Caramel Rooted. So let me just spin around for you and then we'll talk measurements. Another great style for summer. This cap feels like the normal petite average of Ellen Villa to me. It doesn't feel more snug like those other two did. Okay, so she's in the color Caramel Rooted. Let's see what that's described as. That is described as light golden blonde and light neutral blonde with medium ash blonde blend and shaded roots. So even though there's the golden in there, there's also the ashy color, which you'll see more of when we get outside. Ray's is not heat friendly. She has a lace front. There you go. And just a mono crown right here. And you'll see that when we look at the cat. So the part is not a mono part, but the way the shading in this color is done looks beautiful. You can't even tell. She's wavy. I would say she's wavy in texture. She is in the front, she's four inches. The crown, 7.5 inches. Again, I don't really understand the measurements, but the crown is 7.5 inches. <laughs> the sides, seven inches. If you were to do it from the ear tabs, that doesn't make sense to me either. The nape, 2.5 inches, and she weighs only two ounces, so she's nice and light. Let's try the glasses with her. I think I might feel her under the ear tabs. Over the ear tabs, no problem. All right, let's go take a look at her color outside. Okay, so here you can see the blonde with the rooted part there and you, you can see that there are ashier pieces in there. This reminds me of like a Meg Ryan style. Really cute. Try to go around the head here. Okay. Really adorable style. Again, tucker behind the ears. Really cute. Let's take a look at the cap. Okay, so you can see here, she has the lace front, maybe a little permatease around here, open wefting, the velvety uh, ear tabs, velvety extended nape, Velcro adjusters, and just a mono crown. So that's gonna take the price down for you. And I don't think that you need a mono part in this one. The way the rooting is done, it really conceals that part beautifully. All right, on to the next. This next one is Leah Two, also from the Changes Collection. She's in the color Coffee Brown Rooted, which I don't think is for me. I think she's a little bit dark for me. I need a little bit of light around my face. So again, when you're looking at these colors and styles, look at them for yourself and how you think they would look on you. 
Coffee brown rooted is described as dark brown and medium brown with the darkest brown blend and shaded roots. I love this style, just a light little bob. She's heat friendly up to 260 degrees Fahrenheit. She has an extended lace front and a mono part. Her front is 9.25 inches. Her crown, 9.5 inches. The sides, eight and a half inches. The nape, three and a half inches. And she weighs just 3.6 ounces. So let me just spin for you. I love the swing in this, just adorable. She does feel more snug than some of the other styles. And again, all of these that I'm showing you are in the petite average size, which should fit at least 90% of the population, I believe. But this is on the snug side for me. And she's a blunt bob with that razor edge. I really like that look and it just, creates such nice movement in the hair. All right, let's take her outside and look at the color Coffee Brown Rooted. Oh, before we go outside, let's try the glasses. All right, it's gonna be snug under. Yeah, it's snug under the ear tabs. It almost fits right below the ear tabs, and I'll show you the ear tabs, but I think I would feel that over time. So I would go over top and try not to get my hair all caught in it. <laughs> yeah, over top's not a problem. Let me show you the ear tabs. So the ear tabs end right here. So my glasses were fitting just about under, but they did hit it a little bit. All right, let's take her outside and look at the color now. Okay, here's a look at Coffee Brown Rooted. You can see definitely the highlighting out in the sunlight, which is nice. And it is shaded darker on top. If you're a brunette, this is a beautiful color. Really nice. Okay, so this is Leah too. Let's take a look at our cap. Okay, you can see the extended lace front here, the side part, fairly narrow. So you're pretty much limited to that space right there. Seems like it might have a little bit of permatease here. Not much. Open wefting. Velvety ear tabs, extended nape, and the Velcro adjusters. Okay, so this next one is Arrow from the Perucci collection. And as a matter of fact, the last three wigs that I'll be showing you are all from the Perucci collection. So Arrow is in the color Chocolate Rooted, which is described as dark brown and medium brown with light auburn blend and shaded roots. And you can definitely see the auburn in it and you'll see it even better outside. So this shows up lighter than Leah too and the Coffee Rooted did. Uh, it's a bit much hair for me. I don't normally wear this much hair, but again, look at it for you. This looked really good on Larissa. If you saw the video where I was trying on the Ellen Villa wigs with my friend, she looked really great in this one. Okay, so Arrow is not heat friendly. She's a petite average cap. She's feeling more snug, but I have to check because my friends were trying her on. I don't know if they tightened her at all, but I'll check when we look at the cap. Uh, she's obviously wavy, curly in texture. She, her front is 14 inches, crown 14 inches, sides 13 inches, and nape 13 and a half inches. And she weighs 3 point, no, she weighs 4.75 ounces. So, you know, if it's a really hot summer day, I think she would be a bit much to wear unless you put her up. All right, let me just show you from all sides. She would definitely be great to do updos with or pull her up in all different ways. Okay, let's try the glasses on with her under the ear tabs, snug, and the ear tabs do come far enough down that I would feel that. Over the ear tabs, no problem whatsoever. And let me show you the ear tabs. They are coming down to here, yeah. So I don't have room to fit my glasses under there with my ears. She has an extended lace front, 
So let's take a look at that there. And a mono part. All right, let's go take a look at her color outside. Okay, so here we are. Chocolate rooted. I think you can see the auburn highlights in that and the rooting at the part there. Let's see if I can. Okay, let's take a look at her cap. And I'm looking to see if she was tightened because I know I said she was snug. She may have been tightened on this one side a little bit. So that could make the difference. This side does not look tightened at all. Just wanted to make sure I showed you that. Okay, so here she is. Extended lace in the front, mono part, little permatees there, velvety ear tabs, with the metal stays. They all have the metal stays, by the way, if I didn't mention it. Velvety extended nape and Velcro adjusters. Okay, this next one is tab. A really cute short style. Color is absolutely not for me. So again, look at it for you. Uh, she's from the Perucci collection. It's in the color Silver Mix, and that is described as pearl white and gray with lightest blonde blend. And I know that somebody out there was asking me about gray with blonde, so this would be one of those colors. Short, light, great for summer. Let me just tell you about her. Okay, she is not a heat-friendly wig, and some of my hair may be sticking out here, so try not to go by that there. Uh, she has an extended lace front. So you can see that there. A mono crown. So again, she will be less expensive because she doesn't have the whole mono part. I think the part's done really well, so you really can't tell. Her front is three inches. Her crown is three inches. The sides are three inches. And the nape is 1.75 inches and she weighs three ounces. And she fits my head perfectly, 21 and a half inch circumference. I do not think a large head would fit in this wig. Okay, let me just spin for you. Now, Ellen Villa does make certain wigs in large sizes. I don't know if this is one of them, but if you're looking for something like this in a large size, I would definitely check out her collection. She has a great range of sizes. Okay, so let's try on some glasses. Uh, would be too snug under the ear tabs. Over the ear tabs, not a problem. And let me just show you the ear tabs here. They come down to right here. So you can see I don't have room to fit my glasses underneath that ear tab. My ear is right there. All right, let's take a look at Silver Mix out in the sunlight. Okay, so here is Silver Mix. I don't know if you can see any of the blonde in it there. But if you're looking for a whiter silvery color, this could be the one for you. Okay, so let's take a look at her cap. Okay, here you go. You can see the lace front there, extended lace front. This looks like there's some, per and feels like there's some permatease in there. You have the mono crown, open wefting, velvety ear tabs, velvety extended nape, and Velcro adjusters. Okay, this last one, I absolutely love this style. I think it's so feminine and so pretty. This is Taboo, and she's in the color Champagne Rooted. And Champagne Rooted, which is ashier than I would normally go, but if you're looking for something ashy with a hint of warmth, I think this could be a great color. Champagne Rooted is described as light neutral blonde and light lightest golden blonde blend and shaded roots, and you can see the shaded roots there. Taboo has a mini lace front, so again, that's gonna take your cost down. You can see there's not 
a lace front everywhere. It's just a mini. She has a mono crown. She's petite average and she fits my head very well. Again, I don't know if I had a large head, if this would fit. You can use heat tools up to 260 degrees on her. Her front is seven inches. Her crown, 11 inches. Sides, 11 inches and nape 10 inches and she weighs 4.4 ounces and she has a lot of hair if it's a hot summer day i would probably put her up okay let me spin for you with this i just love the way this falls i just i think the style's done so well Let's try the glasses on with her. Yeah, so the glasses would be snug under the ear tabs. They almost fit underneath of them, you know, height wise, but I would still feel it. Let me see over the ear tabs. Yeah, over the ear tabs would be no problem. That's the way I would do it. All right, let's take this champagne rooted outside and take a look. Okay, here's the champagne rooted outside. I don't know if you can catch any of the golden highlights in there. You can see the rooting. And that rooting hides the fact that you don't have a mono part. You just have the mono crown. Such a pretty style. Okay, so let's take a look at her cat. You can see here the mini lace front that's really going to make this a more affordable wig. Permatease here, mono crown, open wefting, velvety ear tabs, and velvety extended nape with the Velcro adjusters. Okay, so I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions at all about any of the styles or the colors, feel free to email me at my email address at franniesair at gmail.com. Also, we have a private Facebook group called Franny's Hair, where we discuss all things wigs and we support each other in that group. So come on over and join that group. And if you're in that group, you find out about events and specials before anybody else. So that's an added bonus. Remember these wigs and all of Ellen Villa, actually all of the name brand wigs this weekend are on sale at 30% off. There's also a Tresselor special. They are giving away a free wig grip with the purchase of a Tressalore wig. And then of course, check out my one of a kind wigs, my open box review wigs. You're gonna be seeing some of these in that section and you get those at discounted prices. My website is franniesair.com. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own and I'll see you soon.